So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how I recently helped one of my followers on my Instagram page who had participated in my third long tail keyword phrase competition giveaway with respect to a design that she felt that she was hoping to gain more traction, more views from customers. So what I did was I worked on the keyword tags that she provided, refined them a bit, and showed how we could take her design from the bottom of the red bubble search straight up to the top with respect to the keyword phrases that I came up with for her in order to help her succeed and get more eyes on her design. So if you want to learn more about how you can use long tail keyword phrases in order to get your designs to come straight up, then this is an episode you definitely don't want to miss. Stay tuned. Now before we start with today's episode, if you're new to the channel and you like all things pertaining to print on demand, then please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video. I upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday and they're all bent on one goal and that's to help you gain more success with your print on demand business. And now let's get on to today's episode. Okay everybody, so here we are on the shop owner's Redbubble page and the name of the shop owner is Elinanam and the design that we're going to be looking at today is the one that you're seeing on the screen right now called Watercolor Melon, a cute watermelon slice, obviously laptop sleeve was added by Redbubble. Now, what I did was I created a spreadsheet where I analyzed the title of the design, the description, the number of tags used and what those tags were and we're going to look through them very very quickly now. The description here is a cute watermelon to brighten up your day, hand painted with watercolors and love. Also available as a sticker pack, find watercolor melon stickers from my shop. So it's not a bad uh, description, I think we can improve upon a little bit and we'll talk more about it in the episode later on. Now in terms of the number of tags used, we can see that she used 15, which is a brilliant number to have. I usually advocate for anywhere between 14 and 17 tags. We already have a few long tail keyword phrases, which is quite good. And the range in terms of results, there's quite a variation. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at these tags more into depth to see what works, what doesn't, and what we can improve upon. And to do that, we're just going to click over to my second page here on the spreadsheet where I organize the keywords according to the number of results that Redbubble brought back for us. And at the time of publishing, we can see that the keyword good vibes brings back, or rather brought back, 189,082 designs. Whereas the second keyword, yummy, brought back 53,997 results. So two keywords where the results are extremely large. And obviously the chances of being found for this particular design is going to be few and far between. And that's the reason why I highlighted these two keywords, the results rather, in red. Now the next keyword, happier than ever, I highlighted in amber. And the reason for that is that I tend to favor keywords that bring back results of a thousand or less. And in this particular case, at the time of publishing, the results for this keyword was 1,190. So the designer might decide to take a chance on it and keep it in hopes of being found or may decide to obviously just scrap it and choose some of the other keyword phrases that I'm going to be suggesting later on in this episode. The next batch over here, we have anywhere between 113 and 935 results for each of these keywords. And those are actually quite good. It shows that there is interest in these particular keyword phrases, one of them of which happens to be the name of the shop owner, which as many of you who've been following my channel know that I always tend to favor this. It's a good idea that one of your keyword tags, even if it's number 18 out of the 17 keywords that I tend to advocate for, it's a good idea to put it in. Why? Because when people are searching on Redbubble, they may remember your name and by using your shop name in the keyword that they're searching for, it can not only bring them to the design that they're looking for from your shop, but it also gives them the opportunity to see all the designs from your shop and obviously sort of negate the rest of the competition because they're effectively focusing on your shop and your shop alone. So it is something that you want to keep in mind when you're putting up your tags too. Now the next batch are from about 113 down to 14, 
Obviously, you can read through them. I'm not going to take up too much of your time by going through them. But they are, they are a batch of keywords put together to make a keyword phrase. What we do have to be careful of is that we don't add too many keywords in the phrase. I tend to favor no more than four keywords for a long-term keyword phrase. Anything more than that and you're really, you're really niching down, you're really being more specific and the likelihood of somebody keying all of those keywords might be a little bit far reached. Okay, but again, you know, you've got some action over here because in addition to your design, 38 other people put it but designed for this keyword, whereas 33 others for this one and so on and so forth. So again, it is something which is up to you. There's no real hard fast rule for this. Um, nobody's going to say that this particular tactic is better than another one. When it comes to uploading your designs and coming up with keyword tags on Redbubble, you want to try different tactics in the hope that customers are going to find your designs. Because at the end of the day, we're all looking out for sales. And if your designs can get in front of the eyeballs of potential customers, well then, all the more power to you. Whether it is whether or not you're using a forward long tail keyword phrase or more. Now, the last two, unfortunately, seem to have been repeated keyword phrases, and they brought back a result of only one. So basically, I highlighted both in red and would obviously recommend that, you know, you use another keyword phrase in place of these. Okay, so now, how did I go about finding new keyword phrases for this designer to use? Well, I created another page and what I did was I visited a number of websites and one of the predominant websites that I enjoy using is Shutterstock.com. Shutterstock.com is a stock photo agency and basically people who obviously are trying to sell their photos online do so through this agency and obviously upload keywords for people to be able to find their photos. Now I tend to use that because there are times when I'm actually working on keywords for my own particular designs and for one reason or another I tend to draw a blank. I will come up with a few keywords which I think are really great and then when I come up to try and you know create some more I just can't do it. I draw a creative blank. So by visiting Shutterstock.com or indeed you can visit any website for that matter. You can visit Wikipedia. You can visit Pixabay. These are all websites where you can actually find keywords which are pertinent to the particular design or niche that you're designing for. And by looking at these websites you can see what keywords other people have used and in turn get more inspiration, motivation, break that creative block that you might be having to come up with keywords that perhaps you wouldn't have thought about when you were first working on your own keywords. So let's go through them quite quickly. So clearly given the fact that design pertains to a watermelon, I created a heading about the fruit and within it we have watermelon, melon, fruit, delicious, fresh, dessert, sweet, yummy and tropical. Again, some of these words weren't obviously in the original keywords that the artist came up with. So this is obviously something which is going to be quite helpful, not only to her, but to all of you who are watching this video to realize that, hey, you can find inspiration for keywords elsewhere in order to help you come up with your own keywords to help your design be found. Now, the second column pertains to about the style. It's an artistic piece of work. It's drawing, watercolor, design, kawaii illustration, cartoon, adorable, funny, and happy. So these are all things that I got when I looked at the design. And then other, a lot of these keywords I got from Shutterstock. So watermelon is healthy. We all know that. For some people, it's a diet food. It's red. We have a slice. Refreshing, summer, nutritious, snack, organic, and summertime, which is typically the time of the year when one finds watermelon on the market. Now, what we are seeing here on the screen is effectively a brainstorm of keywords. Now, I may use all of them, or I may use only a few of them, and that's all right. What we want to do is we want to try to come up with these 14 to 17 long tail keyword phrases that is going to help this artist's design reach higher in Redbubble search, and again, get customers to see the design. So, if we go on to page four here, we're going to see the new suggested keyword phrases that I came up with and in researching them on Redbubble, what results I obtained for each keyword phrase at the time of publishing this video. So let's go through them quite quickly. So the first one is Happy Summer Watermelon Slice, which brought back a result of 644 designs. 
Adorable Cartoon Watermelon, five nine seven. Fresh water, excuse me, Fresh Summer Watercolor Melon, five two three. Delicious Watermelon Illustration, four hundred and fifty four. Sweet Melon Slice Dessert, three hundred and ninety five. Kawaii Melon Slice, three hundred and sixty. And obviously, if we continue going down the list, we're getting closer and closer to zero. With the last one being Refreshing Organic Melon Slice, that brought back a result of twenty two. Now you can pause the video here right now to take a look at all of them to see how I use the keywords that I had brainstormed to come up with these results and hopefully it'll be motivation and inspirational for you too when you're coming up with creating long-term keyword phrases for your own particular designs. Okay, but these are 17 totally new keyword phrases that obviously I offered to the artist for her to use and obviously to modify her Redbubble listing to hopefully get more eyeballs onto her design, which hopefully will make her more sales. Now, in communicating with her prior to the creation of the spreadsheet, she was sort of adamant that she wanted to keep the title as it was particularly with watercolor melon as the first keyword. And you know what? That's absolutely fine. No objections to that. After all, it is her design. And if she felt comfortable with doing it that way, all the power to her. That's not a problem. But what I did was I sort of made a suggested modification to the back end of her title so that obviously she could take that into consideration and perhaps modify it in order to get more keywords into the title for both Redbubble and for Google to be able to use when it's indexing this particular designs page on the Google search engine. So here we see a cute, happy watermelon slice illustration, fresh summertime fun. So again, as you can see here, we have more keywords that search engines for search engine optimization can utilize in order to get this design out there in front of the eyes of more people. Now, let's take a look at the original description here. We have a cute watermelon to brighten up your day. Hand painted with watercolors and love. Also available as a sticker pack, find watercolor melon stickers from my shop. Again, as stated earlier in this episode, it's not a bad description, but I think we can improve upon it a little bit more. And again, to increase more keywords into it so that obviously we can get it seen and searched for by more people. Remember, you always want to keep the customer's mindset in your mind when you're creating your keywords, your title, and your descriptions. Try to put yourself into the position of what would the customer key in in order to find my design. And the new suggested description, as you can see here, is a cute and refreshing watercolor design of a delicious red tropical watermelon to brighten up your day. Hand painted with watercolors and love, again, which is taken from the original. This design makes a sweet, fruity gift idea for every watermelon lover out there. Okay? And you can see that it's, it's become more keyword rich in terms of a description of the design. And when we look at the number of characters this new description brought back, we've got 225 characters including the spaces, which is well within the 265 character limit that Redbubble offers. And so in taking these suggestions, it's my hope that the artist who created this design will find more customers to take a look at this design and hopefully make the purchase. So there you have it everybody. It wasn't an exercise that was really cumbersome to do and hopefully the new batch of keyword phrases that we came up with in this episode should help the artist's design be seen by more potential customers and hopefully make more sales. For those of you who are new to the Redbubble game, indeed the, new, the print on demand game, one of the things that you really have to take the time and consider is what kind of keywords you're going to be using for your designs. Remember, with respect to online sales, people find goods, find services, find whatever it is that they want through the use of keywords. And in putting yourself in the mindset of a customer and thinking, okay, what kind of keywords would a customer key in in order to find my design? That exercise that you're doing is going to be helping your design be seen by those customers a lot more efficiently than just simply hoping for the best by putting in generic one word keywords and hoping that social media will bring the people to you. Redbubble offers a lot of organic search, but you have to make sure that you provide the relevant keywords that are going to be searchable by people and also provide results that are going to be less than 1000 in order to help your design become more successful 
in being seen and indeed in being purchased. Now, let's be very clear. You can make sure that you come up with the best keyword phrases that are known to men, but you also have to make sure that your design is of quality. Sometimes people will get in touch with me and tell me, you know, Brian, I did take your advice in terms of refining my keywords and people still aren't buying my design. What am I doing wrong? And then obviously I would go into the design after asking them for the link and taking a look at it. And for those of you who know me, I'm not the type of person who's going to come down on people and, and you know, blast them or whatnot. But one does have to realize that part and parcel of making a sale is coming up with a high quality design. When you design something, particularly if it is text-based, for those of you whose first language may not be English, it is so important that you get a second opinion on your design. Get a second pair of eyeballs so that somebody can see your design and make constructive suggestions for improvements. Remember, when you are working on a design, after a while, your eyes gleam over and you may not see a particular mistake which would be glaringly and alarmingly evident to somebody who comes and sees it with a fresh pair of eyes. So before you hit the upload button and put your design on a marketplace with the best long tail keyword phrases you can come up with, have somebody take a look at your design and give you the go ahead whether or not it is grammatically correct, whether it is balanced Okay, whether it's going to give quality to the customer who is going to be opening up their wallet, pulling out their credit card to make the purchase. Between a quality design and some great keyword phrases, you are increasing your chance of making more sales, particularly with respect to the fourth quarter, which again is just around the corner. At the time of publishing this particular video, we're at the beginning of August, and in just in less than two months time, the fourth quarter will begin where the purchasing frenzy online will start. Put yourself in the best position possible to get your designs out there with the great keywords, with great quality designs. And there's no doubt in my mind why you shouldn't reach a degree of success. But for today, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now.